Mercury-Jupiter was a proposed suborbital launch configuration, using a Jupiter missile carrying a Mercury capsule. Jupiter flights would have a maximum altitude of 156 nautical miles, compared to the 108 nautical miles possible with the Redstone. Range was also much higher at 1,343 nautical miles, compared to the 177 nautical miles of the Redstone. This enhanced performance would have allowed for better testing of the capsule before orbital flights. Although never considered for crewed flight, here we recreate a possible Mercury-Jupiter suborbital flight by Alan Shepard. Communications from the historical Alan Shepard flight are used, but adjusted to the simulation timings, with G callouts happening at the approximate moments. All right, uh, lift off and the clock has started. Yes, sir, reading you loud and clear. Freedom 7 is still go. This is Freedom 7. The fuel is go. 1.2 G. Cabin at 14 PSI. Oxygen is go. This is 7, fuel is go, 1.8 G, 8 PSI cabin, and the oxygen is go. Fuel is go, 2.5 G, cabin 5.5, oxygen is go, the main bus is 24, and the isolated battery is 29. Roger, read the five to five, protect the road, okay. Seven here, fuel is go, 4G, 5.5 cabin, oxygen go, all systems are go. 5G. That's all systems go, protect the road, okay. Tower Jettison Green. Disarm. Cut off. Cap step is green. <laughs> 